20 in Do. The answer to chess. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong. Just developing the knight, making space for castling at some point. All basic stuff. And let's just push the pawn through the center, opening the dark square bishop as well. Let's bring the bishop. Oh, come on, people. What are they doing today? That's shocking. Right. Let's go for another one. Right, let's develop the knight. Let's push on to the knight. Let's push on to the knight again with a smaller piece. And push on to the knight again with a smaller piece. And we've given up a pawn, but we're improving the position on the board. Okay, little by little, improving the position on the board. Let's just uh, take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. Let's develop the bishop. So we've got highly, let's um, <laughs> on pass on that. And it's getting very frantic, but I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Let's put a check on the king, bait in the pawn. Okay, bring the bishop back. It's wanting this pawn. I don't know why they've not done that. Okay, let's get the knight out. It's castle. This should be a bit of interesting development. Let's attack the knight. Let's take. Again, let's just keep this bishop on this diagonal. Let's get the knight in the center. Let's capture. Didn't like our knight. Moved his queen off the line, attacking the pawn. Bishop can't protect, but the pawn can protect. Check on the king. The move. Oh my gosh, it's that move. <laughs> the movements that look like non moves, so just moving the king out of the way. They've actually gone for it. Always for the B pawn. Uh, Queen's on a dark square. Let's come up here and see if we can challenge the queen. So the plus one, and as we've said historically, it's not about the pluses, it's about the position on the board. If you can, try and get a better position. Let's take this, double the pawns. Oh, in fact, no, the knight can take, sorry. Oh, they have doubled the pawns. Right, so that plus one is a doubled pawn situation. Could attack the knight. Let's push this pawn. Pushing it just to maybe stop the knight from jumping here. And... Thing for me is, I'm thinking, yeah, go and attack the knight, but they're just going to allow us to take it because they're going to want the pawn to be, you know, properly passed. So do I waste my time doing that? I don't think I really want to waste my time doing that. I'm going to bring the bishop here. Maybe they take, take. Might need to do some just sitting back moves. Well, it looks like they've stopped us from going there. We could attack, but they're looking for these passes. 
that's got no protection on but we go here it just drops so how do we get these pieces working I'm going to attack the head of the snake here I'm going to continue attacking the head of the snake I've got to change the trajectory of this situation because we're we'll get hammered if we just keep focusing on these so now we've got space in front of their king to maybe try and do something with our powerful bishops. So all we know is they're going to be trying to get these down. It's attacking, it's got support from his bishop. Can just bring it here or just keep that diagonal. Keep that diagonal if we get time to do any of this. So it's blocked off straight away, but we can go here or won't be able to take. So it's going to move. It's going to move the king. Yeah, they see everything. Let's push this pawn blocking this. Rook is down and it is attacking this pawn twice. Is the rook going to take? So a smaller piece attacking the rook. Is he going to take bishops on there? Oh, it does as well. Okay, maybe it's a piece for a piece situation. All right. Um, so owning the file with the rooks is key. Does this knight have a fork? Let's go with owning the file with the rooks. Keep it simple, straightforward stuff. We can take, but again, it's this pawn supported by the bishop situation. How many times is it going to do that? And then it's, it's basically advanced down the board. Take, pawn takes, pawn takes. Oh, do we just hit this pawn? That was meant to be an arrow, actually. Do we just hit this pawn? Do we take with the rook to try and get around the back? King is getting activated, so protecting the bishop, isn't he? Our bishop doesn't have any protection on. Could come back here, looking to take the pawn. No, they see that every time. If we go here, the bishop can move and then their rook is on our bishop. And I have passes all over the place. Let's just bring the rook here. Bishop's definitely moving either here because it still wants to keep that. No. What is this? Am I missing something here? Take on takes. Does the rook have any of these pawns? I'm going to take. I'm 
attack this pawn. See if we can get rid of these pawns in some way. Let's take the linked pawns, so it might be a bit of an issue. Let's attack the bishop. King probably needs to come back, doesn't it? Which is a shame. Then we can push this. And push this. Bishop can't take because the rook's got an x-ray. And at this point they start pushing the pawn to distract. So I've gone into the big tank here. It's not over by any means. I'm not wanting to start monologuing because <laughs> these sort of end games end up being funky if it's not right. But it does look like we've got a bit of pressure. Okay, so we can take with the rook with a check on the king. Are we getting this rook pawn up? Do we need to rush that? One second. We attack the rook. But then we're keeping the bishop there, so we don't want that. So if we take with this one. Take with the check. Just take with the check. Push on to the rook. Oh, but you can't do that. Damn. Hit the rook. Hit the rook. Push the pawn. Ah, oh, man. What have we just done? Take the pawn. I think we messed up that order then going for that attack. Take the rook. Go for the pawn. So this sh should be okay. Let's capture. Let's get the king up. Let's take. Let's get the king up. So they've left the game. Claim victory on that. All right.